found at the upper part of Sullivan County in the Catskill Mountains between the lake Mongal and Hodgepond. Almost a mile east of Shokon village in County 28, Ulster County. A bootlegger, bootlegger from New York is reported to have hidden two and a half million dollars worth of paper currency in several iron boxes during the Prohibition days, somewhere on a deserted farm at the upper part of Ashokan Reservoir. He was caught by the FBI and other law enforcement agencies, but uh, they failed to find his loot. Also, located somewhere in this area is the, the Lost Truman Herd, H-U-R-D gold mine. It supposedly contains uh, some stored gold inside. Another cache of valuables known as Tongarara treasure is presumed to be hidden uh, between Kingston City at US 87 and the lower edge of this reservoir. It consists of gold and silver coins valued at over $1 million. Accords, tiny village at State 209, Ulster County, is where Ruffy Evans, a miner buried a hoard of silver ore and bullion somewhere within or nearby the hamlet. At the time of the revolution, a band of Tory raiders stashed a sizable amount of plunder outside Summitville State 209 in Sullivan County, in a cave somewhere in the Shawangang Mountains. Tracy Maxwell, a farmer who died in 1948 and lived two miles west of Surprise on County 81, Green County, stated in his will that he had paper currency and a stockpile of family jewelry worth around $135,000 somewhere in or around his barn. His family has spent more than $20,000 trying to find his treasure, but they have been unsuccessful. 18th century river pirates are believed to have buried many caches of treasure within and around the vicinity of West Point Military Academy during the revolution. The Tories, who were forced to flee Peekskill for their lives during the revolution, buried numerous treasures somewhere in the region. Researching where the Tories lived by examining all property records my reveal where they had uh, devalued possessions. The Hudson River's narrowest place is a spot called Kids Point. It is alleged that the renowned criminal buried a hoard of treasure in this area, making, making it famous as an expedition site frequented by treasure hunters over the years. A few miles south of Peekskill, located on a bluff overlooking the Hudson River at Stony Point, is a cave where another cache of pirate treasure is allegedly hidden, a place called Money Hill. Located a few miles south of Croton on the Hudson, is said to be the spot where a great treasure, whose origin is unknown, is rumored to have been buried. Some caches holding silver and gold coins amounting to $750,000 were hidden in Hicksville, County 135 on Long Island by an affluent, affluent uh, misanthrope somewhere on his estate. A bulldozer operator discovered one of the caches holding $89,000 of old coins in 1960. A pirate named Joe Bradish is believed to have hidden some treasure chest on the northeastern tip of Long Island on Orient Point, somewhere in the late 18th century. Gardner's Island. So Gardner's Island, um, it's, it's very famous because of Captain Kidd. And I have talked about it in the past videos. Uh, so Gardner's Island is located 
in Block Island Sound. It is the most famous place where Captain William Kidd buried his treasure and the most likely to be so indeed. It is a fact that he and another pirates and other pirates used the island as the headquarters. Kidd stayed there immediately after seizing a valuable prize at sea, just before his capture and execution by hanging. Kidd Valley, a site on this island, has rocks imprinted with many symbols. Some have taken to be clues that if deciphered and understood, would reveal the exact location of Kidd's treasure that's believed to still remain on that island. Fisher's Island is situated close north of Gardner's Island and it's reputed to have been often used by pirates. It is believed that some have hidden their treasures there. The coins and other precious trinkets found on the island are thought to have washed aground from shipwrecks. The pirate Charles Gibbs is said to have buried a tremendous amount of treasure somewhere in Southampton Beach, County 27, in Long Island, sometime in the early years of 1800s. Renowned millionaire Walter Chrysler also buried a large amount of money on his estate located on this beach. Shinnecock Beach on Long Island, located about a mile south of Shinnecock Inlet, was the site where Storm washed some gold and silver coins ashore that date from the early 1800s. On Long Island, somewhere in the area of Fire Island, winter storms eroded shipwreck timbers on the beach along with precious artifacts discovered by people using metal detectors. Prince Moritz, a Dutch immigrant ship, sunk in 1637 is likely the source since it carried copious amounts of treasure. A considerable number of ships have been wrecked over the years in the area of Montauk Point, near Long Island's Easter Trip, as evidenced by the ruins visible on its beaches. Murray, an American privateer that sank in 1763, and whose ruins are found on the east side of the beach, is one of the wealthiest known wrecks. Having carried gold coins and bullion amounting to around $100,000, gold coins and silver from Germany have been washed uh, ashore on the village on Montag's beach, believed to have come from Herbert, a German immigrant vessel that sank there in 1710. Governor's Island. Governor's Island is located a bit from the southern edge on, of Manhattan, whose shores have been uh, where treasure seekers have generally been successful working, has been where many ships have been lost throughout the years. Numerous artifacts and coins dating from the colonial period have been found in this region. Many ships have also sunk on nearby Staten Island, whose banks have often yielded some of the vessel's relics. If you enjoy this program, please like it, subscribe it, and share it. Long Island. Two boys, a 12-year-old black boy and a white kid from the ones who helped Kid bury his treasure. Kid asked which of them wanted to guard the loot. The white boy, the white boy volunteered. Kid beheaded him and buried him in a hole along with the cash. James Marks, the black kid, died in 1802 when he was 115 years old. He never found the treasure's exact location. Liberty Island, New York Harbor. Sergeant Gibbs, a fortune teller, and one of his recruits were digging up a box when a creature with horns, tail, and wings breathed a burst of blue flame at them. Gibbs nearly drowned when he fell into the water. His companions abandoned him. No one has ever found the treasure again. 
New York City. Before the start of the revolution, Mad Sam, a black man, chanced upon a pirate bearing a treasure somewhere on 100th Street at the spot where it presently meets the river. He returned later with some fellows, including someone adept in mysticism. A person in a red flannel cap suddenly leaped from the bushes exactly when they dug when, uh, when they dug up an iron box and exposed its lid. The men ran away frightened. They found no trace of the digging when they returned. Fallingsby's Pond Adirondack Mountains, New York An old loner, presumed to hold a high office in the English army, who became a recluse because of his unfaithful wife, disclosed the location of his treasure while he was at death door. Some of it was recovered, but tracking its whereabouts or what happened to it has been unsuccessful. There were probably more treasures left behind. T Island, Lake George. A treasure was buried here by General Abicon. Shandaken Valley, Catskills. Treasure was buried here by British officers during the American Revolution. Uh, they were to recover it, but it's most likely still there. Fort Neck, Long Island. Captain Jones, who was believed to be a pirate and a smuggler, owned a home here that is now considered haunted. While he was dying, a crow got into the room, flew over his deathbed, and when he breathed his last, headed to the west side of the house where it broke a hole in the, into the stonework. The damage could never be repaired, which caused everyone here to abandon the place because the elements kept coming through the opening. The hope of finding his treasure there was diminished over the years. If you enjoy this program, please like it, subscribe it, and share it.